Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today we are doing my very first Shein haul. I didn't know that much about Shein. I've heard of it before, but never once myself did I go out of my way to check out the website or see what it was all about. But oh my gosh, I did and now I'm addicted. So I purchased a few items for myself, which I'm probably gonna do in like my next video or my next haul. I'll show you the woman's clothes, but today is all about my kids' clothes. I did a lot of my back to school shopping through Shein. The shipping came in pretty quick. I think it was about like a week and a half total, which wasn't that bad. And I really wasn't sure about sizing. I wasn't sure right away what size I should get I think the items that I got for my son are like literally a tiny bit too big, like the pants, like if I just roll them up once they would fit perfectly, which is kind of a good thing because I want him to be able to grow into them instead of getting them too small. It's nothing that I can't work around right now. A lot of the items are so cute and I can't wait to get in and show you guys, so let's show you what we got. I'm going to go in no particular order because to be honest with you, the kids have worn a couple of these outfits. I was hoping to be able to film, edit, and publish this video before back to school began, but that was just, it was really, is that a spider? It was really difficult because Ella's birthday falls in the same week as back to school, so trying to do her seventh birthday party and then dealing with back to school for both of my kids. It was just a lot. So I got in these clothes a couple weeks ago. I tried pulling all the clothes kind of from everywhere so I might have forgot like an outfit or a piece here and there but I did my best to grab everything. So this is kind of odd because I don't recall my daughter putting on the blue pair and I can't find them but they were hanging up with the pink pair, so that doesn't make much sense to me. I'll find them. I got her two sweatpants. It was a set, uh, came with the blue pair, and then of course came with the pink pair. The pink pair has Angel right here on the side, and the blue pair has a butterfly, I believe, on the pocket. They're very, very stretchy, and now the quality reminds me a lot. I don't know if you guys remember, I did a Pat Pat haul maybe last year, and the quality, it's not like, it's not top-notch quality, you know, but they're cute items and my mentality, especially for my kids' clothes, is that I need something cute and durable, but I'm not expecting anything to last forever right now. They're kids. They're going to get things stained. It doesn't matter if I spend $20 on a shirt or $5 on a shirt. They're both going to stain the same, so I just feel like until they get older and I'm more willing to spend more on quality items, especially right now, I feel like at least for my household, this is the best route to go where they still get to experiment with so many cute fashion pieces that still are durable and hold up but eventually I'm gonna have to replace and I'm pretty okay with that because the prices are so affordable by the way I'm not sponsored by Shein this is all a hundred percent my personal opinion this is my first haul so maybe if I do future hauls down the road I might find things here and there that I didn't pick up the first time but so far this is my first honest opinion. So Ella actually ended up wearing this set on her first day of second grade so it is a little bit wrinkly. Gotta iron it before I'm able to put it away. I believe there's a pattern name for this kind of stripe and I don't remember. I don't know if there's pinstripes or something but they're really 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 light white stripes going all throughout the shirt. Of course we have this kind of I'm not a fashion expert, so I don't know the correct terminology for that. I wanted to call it a peplum, but it's not quite a peplum, and then it's not a collar either. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. I don't want to be ripped to shreds. But it is a really cute button down. I think we left like one button down around the neck, and then it came it came with this cute little white pleated skirt, which I'm so excited because I have one in my size that matches, and we could totally be twins. <gasps> I actually have a blue shirt very similar to this. Oh my god, I'm dressing the two of us up to go out one of these nights, hands down. If I ever got involved with fashion or if I could have like one critique if I was designing children's clothing, 
is to always with the girls skirts because I know I appreciate it as a mom is to always have the built-in shorts you'll see that one of the skirts that I have at least one of the skirts I have has that feature but this one doesn't so in this case I have a little lady so I want her to be be able to play um, but still feel like she's being her modesty is being protected so I buy her a lot of biker shorts which are great they come in a variety of colors you can get a pack of them on Amazon for pretty cheap uh, so that's kind of how I go around no shorts being under these kinds of skirts but again I really do appreciate the kinds of skirts um, that are designed for little girls and have the uh, shorts inserts I just think it's a really great idea this set actually might be the set that I'm talking about with the built-in shorts. Uh, yes, it is. So this is, again, another pleated skirt, but it has the built-in shorts. Uh, really, really, really cute. And then it comes with this black top uh, that says Chicago. And at first on the website, I will be honest, there was actually two items like this, where I thought the top was more of like a sweater, like a genuine thick sweater. Um, it's not. It's just the kind of material of a thinner uh, shirt. So my first thought purchasing it was that it was going to be really great for the fall. She could just throw that on the skirt and like a pair of tights or socks and a pair of boots and be good to go. But she would definitely need something over this, especially when the New England fall comes in. It gets very chilly. So I did anticipate again a thicker, more quality fabric. Um, based off of just the pictures on the website but you never really know when buying stuff online so that's the one critique I have for that out outfit because otherwise it is really 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 cute. We're getting into a couple of my son's items so this is a two-piece set um, so the top comes um, again it's kind of that more t-shirt sort of um, material instead of like a sweater kind of material so again I will was that a fly? Again, I will have to layer him when it genuinely gets really, really cold. Like even just a plain white onesie or a white um, t-shirt under this would be perfect. The elbows have little patches that match the front pocket. And then the pants, of course, match the pocket design. I will say, because I am holding it up to a light, um, possibly be careful. I'm going to have to see with the adult clothing because I know with a lot of these kind of websites where their items are really 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 affordable but you're also kind of compensating again on that quality so just holding it up to the light I can see it's a little bit see-through now my baby's still a baby he's still in diapers I'm not worried about if you see his diaper or not but just keeping in mind if you have young girls maybe check their leggings um, if they are getting leggings maybe even throw on a pair of like black tights underneath the leggings I do that a lot in the winter time if I'm wearing leggings I'll throw on tights underneath just to give myself that extra layer of protection and to prevent my leggings from being super see-through but I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there and then again they do have little patches on the knees Here's another similar set to the one I just showed. Same kind of material, same kind of design. Of course, a little bit different. Instead, the pattern is in this diagonal shape. Uh, and then this one has a little hood, which I think is really cute. But this is a dinosaur-themed set. And then, of course, I'm not going to pull it out, but it's the same kind of pants I just showed you. And it is strange because I noticed when you get these, instead of saying, like, 2T or whatever, it has numbers. So... There's that. In the description, I'll put the sizes that I ordered for both my children. My daughter is 7 and my son is 20, 21 months. He'll, he'll be 2 in January. So just keeping in mind when I'm showing you guys and you can look at the sizes that I bought and kind of go off of that if you have kids maybe around the same age. This is my daughter set and it's this cute little top um, again with the big blue butterfly and then the bottoms are like this blue and white. Um, it it kind of reminded me, kind of reminded me of something a little 70s-ish um, but oh yeah, okay. I am seeing because I have a bunch of ring lights that they are a little bit see-through. 
So keeping that in mind, again, in my particular case, I'd still let my daughter wear these clothing, but I would definitely put on a pair of leggings or a pair of tights underneath. Um, because if she stands in the light just right, yeah, they are they are quite thin. I'll give it that. You can definitely tell they could have been thicker. <laughs> they could have been thicker. Yeah, that's a little, uh, yeah, the, okay, okay. We won't, you know what, there are some pieces that are gonna, we're gonna have to just work around. I have it, I'm still gonna let her wear it, but again, I'll just have to go that extra step and make sure that she has a little bit of an extra layer on the bottom. But there has been some pieces from Shein that, like, I've worn that were my clothes that I adore and fit beautifully. And then there were others that I was like, ah, that didn't really look like the picture or fit how I thought I it would. So I think it, it can be a little bit of a hit or a miss, um, but so far I've had really good luck. Here's a set that I was actually pleasantly surprised in the quality of. The fabric seems a lot thicker in this kind of flannel shirt. I got my son and then it does come with a pair of pants, which I'm gonna hold these up to the light because they're not that same legging material we've been feeling. They're kind of like a khaki material not quite a jean but not a legging it's like a jegging sort of situation but it has the stretchy waistband which is perfect it also has the stretchy bottoms which helps if i need to roll it up once or twice i really want him, him to have something really cute comfortable and warm to wear i got a couple of sets like these for my daughter uh, i thought these were really really cute so it does come with the skirt and the shirt this one says charming little princess on the shirt. I think these are overalls. I believe they have buttons somewhere because it looks like on the back of these there is these little button holes. So I'm going to have to put, this is one of the outfits. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. I see the button. All right. So they definitely are overalls. I just have it tied up right now so it can be on the hanger. Uh, but yeah, but this was super cute. This one does not have a built-in pair of shorts. So this would be another uh, tights or a biker short set. I'll show you the other set that I got that was really similar to that. Actually, we might have two of them. Um, we have this yellow set. Again, same same exact design. Of course, instead we have this like sunset yellow uh, skirt and it does have buttons coming down the front. I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up. But then it comes with the polka dot black and white shirt and I really do love the collar on this and then it does come this is either a matching I think it's a matching headband and then the last set that I got that was like that the same kind of style was this one so it's just a floral set instead and then it comes with the matching uh, pink top which I really like that I can take this off and match it with different bottoms same thing it came with a little matching headband this one kind of reminds me a little bit of the blue butterfly one that I showed you we have a mama's girl uh, outfit but this one kind of reminded me a little bit of like 70s, 80s, like the flare jean kind of kind of bottoms. Um, they have the sunflowers. I really like the sunflowers. Holding this one up to the ring light, actually it's not as see-through as the blue one. This one she might actually be able to get away with because even just holding it like one instead of looking through two sides, just one side of the pants. It's not that see-through. I see a little bit of the light coming through, but I don't think anything that would raise a problem. So I think these pants are a little bit thicker. Whoops. It does have a set that comes with a pair of jeans. So it's kind of it kind of reminds me of like a farm look, but I think it's so cute. It does come with the cutest matching pair of jeans right here. So again, they do have a stretchy waist. But the little bottom has little daisies on it. I... Uh-oh. We got like a little fuzzy. I'll have to cut that off after. But, and I think they're supposed to be a little bit cropped at the ankles. We also got this set, which I love the pants. I had to get, like every year, I have to get her a pair of some camo pants. I have to do it. So the pants definitely sold me on this outfit, but it does come with a little matching uh, top that says little. Just little. She's just a little. She comes. It comes with a matching belt, and then it comes with these little camo 
jogger pants. Oh, I can't even. They're so stinking cute. We're going to have to go out in some matching outfits, her and I. Mm -hmm. Then if you remember me mentioning that uh, outfit that I thought was more of like a sweater top than it actually ended up being. The same thing happened with this one online. It looked more like a sweater, but it ended up being, again, a kind of thinner like t-shirt sort of material so it would be something I would have her throw on top of of another shirt or a jacket on top of this but it says mama's girl hello oh she had notification how ironic I have two accessories to show you guys but I have two more sets left to show you they're both my sons and with this set it was a three-piece set so I know I'm missing the sweater port part of it but I think it's in the hamper the other two pieces is this brown bear set and I love it because one of my favorite shows when I was a little girl was called Little Bear. When I saw this outfit I had to get it but the top is plain. It's just a brown and white striped onesie with a hood but the pants are a gray kind of sweatshirt material, sweatpant material excuse me and they are particularly thick. Um, the inside is lined, uh, just has a thin lining of um, fur fuzz if you may uh, to keep him warm so they're pretty decent quality sweatpants and then the top is just like a navy blue um, sweater with a big brown bear across it so you're not missing out on too much but it is really cute he wore it to his first day of uh, his new class in daycare and it was he looked adorable and then the last set that I have to show you guys is this little monster two-piece so it comes with the navy blue top this one is not as thick like like I wish they made these kind of tops out of the same material that they made the sweatpants like it would be perfect it would be perfectly warm if they did that but it's more again of that t-shirt material maybe a little bit thicker on this one but not as thick as the sweatpants and then the bottoms which I'm not sure anything special no there's no design or anything on them but it would be really convenient just to have a plain pair of gray sweatpants I actually had three accessories to show you guys I'm just now realizing but I bought it was like a butterfly cuff set so it had like all little cuffs and then a butterfly um, earring it was really cute but I did wear it to work and I took it off and now I don't know where all the pieces are to it so I'm just gonna show you guys the other accessories that I got so I did get a necklace as well which I haven't broken open open yet because I really wanted to make sure I saved it for the video I had it for the video because you see what happens when I open jewelry before I film. This one, I'm trying to remember, it was like a layered, whoa, oh, it's two. That's why I thought it was layered. So it's two little gold chokers, I'm hoping. Yeah, they look, well, not quite. Oh, no, you can make it a choker. <gasps> oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I'm a 90s kid. I, I will always love chokers. I don't care. I don't care. Don't care if you call me a millennial. That's what I am and that's what I love. My side part skinny jeans and chokers will never, never go out of style for me. And then the last thing that I got, I got for my daughter for school. But now I'm a little afraid of sending her to school with it. Only because it is um, like a plastic and I'm just afraid it's going to crack. Because she has a habit. All kids have the habit of just throwing their backpack on the floor. So I'm worried about sending it to her uh, school and then having it crack all in her backpack. So it's probably something we're just going to keep at home. But it's this little... I'm obsessed with acrylic anything. I don't have my nails right now. I'm going to go get them next week. I'm giving my nails a break. But when I get them back, you and I have a date. <laughs> it's so cute. <gasps> I love stuff like this. I'm sorry. Some I, I just... I love it. So you fill it up by just screwing off the top. And then you drink it. I scream. Oh, oh, I'll just, what was that? You're thirsty. Oh, me too. Let me just, oh my God. Oh my God. I can't, <laughs> can I, would I actually go out in public like that? It's so cute. I will say that I would probably get a straw if I was to genuinely use this. Maybe she and has straws. I don't know because my nose, like if I go to 
put my lips on the bottle. My nose kind of gets in the way of this. But it's supposed to be like a little milk carton. <gasps> Are you serious? This is the cutest. This actually, oh my gosh. I have an idea because I was thinking I could even like, because when I bring my son out for the day or something, I have to pack like three or four different sippy cups. And what if I just fill a container with like apple juice or something and then just like or water and just refill it? it that might be unnecessary, but I feel like it's a space saver, especially if like you, you like refill his same cup throughout the day. Unless you're switching up the drinks in that case, you could bring two sippy cups instead of like four, you know? I don't know. I just want a reason to use it. I think it's super cute. I love stuff like this. I love collecting stuff like this. Like when I open my cabinet and I just see this sitting there, it makes me very, very happy. So if it's totally functional, I don't really care because it's still, it serves its purpose by making me happy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is it for the haul. Like I said, I have a whole collection of stuff in women's sizes as well I want to show you guys, but we're going to save that for a different video. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead, show me by leaving a thumbs up. Also, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and go ahead and leave a comment because it looks like YouTube is finally going to allow me to keep my comments and I'm so excited because you guys are so sweet and I love reading them. So please go ahead, feel free to interact with everybody down there and I I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!